Today I'm reviewing the Amazon Fire HD8 for trending product reviews. So, out of the box, you get the tablet itself. It comes in four different colours, black, yellow, red and blue. I went for the blue. Uh, it also comes with uh, your micro SD charging cable and three point plug and a little book of instructions. So when I came to set the tablet up, it came with a good amount of charge on it, so I didn't have to plug it in and wait for ages for it to charge up. I could turn it on straight out of the box. Asks you to sign in with your Amazon account. So if you have Amazon Prime or an Amazon account at all, you sign in. It then takes you through the setup of it, shows you a video, which is a really useful tutorial video. If you've never used an Amazon tablet before, it's built on Android platform, but it's... Amazon's own version of Android so it's slightly different in the way it works and it looks and feels slightly different uh, so the video tutorial was a really good way of showing you around showing you how everything works and showing you where to find things I uh, had a few updates to download it took about 20 minutes half an hour to download and install the updates uh, but once that was done it was good to go so I got the 16 gigabyte model that comes in around 80 pounds. There is a 32 gigabyte model that comes in at 100 pounds, but for what I need it for, I didn't really need the extra storage. And it, but it also has uh, a micro SD card slot just on the side here with a little dust cover, uh, where you can pop in some expandable storage. So if you wanted to pop some more videos or photographs on it, you've got an expandable storage. So for photographs, you've got a two megapixel camera on the back and a 2 megapixel camera on the front. The front camera is the biggest upgrade this year. This is mainly designed for the Amazon drop-in, I think they call it. It's their uh, Skype, their video calling function, um, which is a really nice sort of function to have, you know, good screen size to do video calling on. But the back camera for photographs really isn't great. It'll do for the occasional snap, but in it's not good in low light. It's not good for fast motion. Um, it's mainly just good for standing outside and posing. And even then, the pictures aren't great. You'd be better off just picking your phone out of your pocket and using that. Other than the front-facing camera, the tablet is pretty much identical to last year's Fire. Uh, there's a couple of differences. It comes with uh, Alexa voice function. So you can say, as you've seen here, it's picked up, I've said... Voice can be used for screaming, crying, laughter, singing and speech. There we go, it, it knows when you're talking to it, it picks it up and you can use it for various functions. For example, uh, Alexa, play state champs. Shuffling songs by state champs on Amazon Music. So you can, if you have Amazon Prime, uh, you get Amazon Music with Amazon Prime as well as their video and their fast delivery. Uh, you can ask it to play songs by a band and it will just shuffle through their back catalogue. Uh, speakers on it, it's got dual speakers, so it's got two which is quite nice. They're okay, nothing special. The voice function is really useful. If you've got an Amazon Echo you already know about the, the voice function. It's exactly the same with this except you have a screen, uh, very similar to the uh, Echo Show which they brought out fairly recently. Uh, you can just ask it to find something, to find the weather, to play you some TV show on Amazon Prime, or search the internet for something, and it will go ahead and do that for you. Set reminders, add things to shopping lists, all of the things the Echo Dot can do, this can also do. Now, why did I go for the Amazon Fire? For 80 quid, unless you're going to buy something... Chinese and not great. There isn't much around at this price point for this tablet. You do pay for it and not in money. For example, this tablet has adverts on its lock screen. You read it. So I could pay £15, I believe it is, to get rid of the adverts. Or you live with the adverts and you have adverts on your on your lock screen rather than your own personalised photograph. Uh, it also, nice pink code function there, has lots of functionality within Amazon. So 
you have your Amazon books up the top here, but also down the bottom, uh, it tells you things you should, you could buy. So your screen is sort of 50-50 between your content and then the Amazon store content. Uh, Prime Video is the same. Uh, you've got some here and then you get down to this section you've got most popular to buy or rent. Uh, games is very much the same. You've just got all the basic kind of Amazon games you have. Uh, and then you can go to your Amazon store, apps, Amazon Music. If you have an Audible subscription, you can listen to your audio books and newsstand as well. So if you subscribe to newspapers, you can get all of that on here as well. With this being an Amazon tablet, there is a few things that you don't get. You don't get the Google Play Store. So there are quite a few apps that you can't download. You can't download Google Chrome, for example. There isn't a dedicated YouTube app. There's a few YouTube rip-off apps, but there isn't a dedicated official YouTube app on this, which means mate, watching YouTube is a bit awkward. You'd have to do it through the browser, and it's not ideal. Uh, Games-wise, you've got a broad selection of games, but there isn't the kind of high-end graphical games. You can't get Fortnite on it, for example. Um, there are some of the, the, the football manager games you can't get on this because they take up too much power and this doesn't have... It's not the most powerful tablet out there. The tablet would be great for going on holiday. I think if you want a casual gaming tablet where you're going to read some of your, your books, they're very really nice uh, screen for your books. It's not as easy on the eye as some of the, the, the Kindle, um, e-book, e-ink options, but I think it's still really good to, to watch and to, to read books on, browsing the internet and everything like that. I will say if you are going to use it, it has 10 hours of mixed-use battery life, so you would be looking to charge it every day if you are on holiday. I took this out of the box, used it for about an hour and put it down for a couple of days. And when I came back to it, it still had plenty of charge. So it looks like when you don't use it, it doesn't deplete the battery a lot. I think this tablet would be great for keeping kids busy on a, on a long journey. If you wanted to give them something to watch some videos on or to play some basic games on in the back of the car, this would be a great tablet for that. This tablet comes with the function of putting it into show mode, which turns it into an echo show. Uh, you just swipe down from the top and press the show mode button. It takes a second to load, it makes a nice noise. It takes a second to load, but then it will. Turn into show mode. So here you have some basic information. It has your time, the weather outside, and you can swipe across the screen. And it brings up some of the trending topics about the latest headlines for the day. So the voice function in show mode still works really well. So you can say, um, turn it up a bit. Alexa, what's the weather like tomorrow? Here's the forecast for tomorrow in Bairstead. Expect mostly sunny weather with a high of two degrees and a low of minus three degrees. So it gives you really good information. It tells you audibly what the weather's going to be like, but also gives you visual feedback. As we can see here, it looks like it's going to rain on Friday and Saturday. So for £80 you have a tablet with a really good screen, it's got decent memory, uh, lots of great functionality, it's great for the kids on a long journey, something like that, great for going on holiday. It's got all your Amazon content here. If you are a Prime subscriber, you get loads and loads of content available to you. I think if you're looking for something to browse the internet, watch some videos, read some books on uh, and play a few games, I don't think there's a better tablet out there for this kind of money. Thank you for watching my review. I hope you liked it. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more great reviews from Trending Product Reviews.